Welcome to the Cyber Threat Intelligence Center's Deepfake Identification, Containment, and Enforcement Initiative Overview. In this short presentation, we will give an overview of who we are as the Cyber Threat Intelligence Center and start diving into what a deepfake is and how deepfakes are now being used to create non-consensual imagery, videos, and media that are of a sensitive or pornographic nature. How the initiative, the DICE initiative, can help you if you find yourself to be a victim of some of this deep fake media that is being created. We will then discuss uh, who pays for the DICE initiative and how you can get in contact with the Cyber Threat Intelligence Center for the DICE initiative. And we do give the warning that there is one slide that does contain some pornographic uh, material. We have blurred out everything, but still, this is not a presentation that is intended for anyone that is under legal age or the age of 18 or whatever legal age is in your country to view such material. So who are we? We are the Cyber Threat Intelligence Center, uh, a cybersecurity consulting firm that was established back in 2022. We have a range of cybersecurity programs that we offer, but specific to this presentation, we uh, have been offering this DICE initiative for the past few months at the making of this video. Myself, I am Brian Fleming, CTIC's founder, and uh, I do hold master's degrees and certifications in cybersecurity, not to bore you, but to say that we are qualified to speak on this subject and know the tools and the internet well enough to actually be of value here. Uh, we exist to keep you safe online through education, consultation, and collaboration with you and other partners. So let's get into it. What is a deep fake? You may have been hearing about it in the news, but this is an excellent definition for a deep fake. A deep fake is a video, photo, or audio recording that seems real but has been manipulated with artificial intelligence technologies. Deep fakes are usually pornographic and disproportionately victimize women. However, deep fakes can also be used to influence elections or incite civil unrest. It's that first part that we focus on. It is estimated that between 90 to 95 percent of all deep fakes made are non-consensual splicing of uh, real individuals' faces and likenesses onto pre-existing pornographic material, videos, uh, and images, and putting the face and likeness of real people onto these videos. And deep fake technology has come along so much that it is near impossible just by looking at the video or the image to know that it has been manipulated and faked. So here's the slide that we gave a pre-warning about, but there are a lot of deep faked videos and images that include celebrities. However, it's the celebrity deep fakes get a lot of media attention, but it is disproportionately affecting women that are non-celebrities as well. So we are seeing cases of individuals that are minors. We're seeing indiv cases of individuals that are in college, uh, individual women that are older, that have all been equally affected by their face, their likeness being used in pornographic material. Now, this is where we come in. This is our DICE initiative, and we've gone back and forth whether we should call it a DICE initiative or DICE. Either way, fine by us. But it stands for the Deep Fake Containment. Now, let's start, try that again. It stands for the Deep Fake Identification, Containment, and Enforcement. So, there are three parts to this program, and we do need to make it very clear. We are not offering legal representation. This is not legal advice. This is not financial advice, nor are we overly involved with the criminal prosecution side. Um, so as we go through these, keep that in mind. 
So the first part of how we help is either we are notified by you or an individual that your likeness, your image is being used online in a deep fake type of setting. The first thing we do is we need to identify, is that a deep faked type of image or video? And we use a wide variety of tools to figure this out. The actual process we don't get into in, in this type of video, but we do use a range of open source commercial and our own tools to really dig into the media to see if it is deep faked. Once we identify it as a deep faked media, we move on to the containment stage. So that is us working again with a wide variety of tools and strategies to actually contact, we actually end up contacting a fair bit of people, but contacting uh, either the publishing site that that media is on, contacting and reaching out the user who has published that information, and if we can get it, contacting the individual who actually created that deep fake, and through a range of different methods, encouraging them strongly to remove that content on their own and through their own free will. Now, in addition to this, and or if this doesn't work, we continue to move toward that enforcement side. So that is working with local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies to hand over all of the information that we have gathered, all of the intelligence that we know on this specific, uh, we call them threat actors, but you can call them whatever, whatever name works best for you as far as the individuals that are perpetrating these crimes. It is a crime and it is, they are criminals for posting this material online. It's just working with local, state, federal jurisdictions to figure out what laws apply the closest to what actually happened and what proof do we need to supply to help in their criminal cases. Now, you may be wondering, well, it sounds like a great opportunity, but I, I can't afford and I don't want to have to pay for such a service. If you are a current victim of these types of deep fakes, you do not have to pay for our services. We, it is a free service to you, and we are able to do that through partnerships uh, now and ongoing with different universities and colleges. Uh, we do have a few sponsors, both corporate and individual, that help pay for our services. And we are working toward more local municipality partnerships and employer partnerships because employers, local municipalities, universities and colleges want to protect their students, their citizens and their employees from this type of cyber crime. And they are usually not equipped to do a lot of the intelligence side that we are able to do and identification side. And we are in a great partnership in order to provide that type of information to them uh, to keep their students, their citizens, and their employees safe. So that is why it is free to current victims. Now, again, this is not legal representation. And at this point, we are not serving as expert witnesses in criminal prosecutions. Uh, that's a conversation for later down the road that we are hoping to become more of an expert witness for actual criminal prosecutions. So if you have currently already been deep faked, you know that your image or video is out there and it is fake and you did not give permission for it to be out there, please reach out to us. Uh, the quickest way is by emailing us directly, cticonnect at gmail.com. We do have our own website and we are very active on LinkedIn. It is our professional platform where we post more content about deep fakes, about how to spot them, about where to reach out to. Um, we always encourage you to continue to reach out to your local law enforcement when you do find deep fakes. We are not a replacement for local law enforcement. We are here to only help and assist. So in addition to reaching out to your local law enforcement bodies, feel free to reach out to us as well. Once again, my name is Brian Fleming. You can find me on LinkedIn. Uh, I am 
the founder of Cyber Threat Intelligence Center. So you can either message me or message the company website directly. And we try and give a lot of options to make that content, that contact. And we do obviously keep your information very safe and secure and make sure that you are as protected as possible throughout this process from from us and we keep our data secure. So again, please do reach out, spread this word. We are trying to help as many people as possible and grow this movement because we know that as the defect technology continues to increase and intensify and get better at actually creating this media, there are going to be a greater need for agencies like ours to help you and to help local law enforcement to actually go after these cyber criminals. Thank you very much, and we look forward to hearing from you.